Moving on now to the common mistakes with conditionals, the first major issue is students often mix up first and second conditional. For example, they begin with a first, like if I have a chance, then they move into the second, I'd blah blah blah. They also do it the other way round. Of course, your conditionals must be perfect, not only to ensure your grammar is accurate, but also to make the meaning clear. Because as we've established, the meaning of first conditional is something that probably will happen, and the meaning of second conditional is something that probably won't. Another common issue with conditionals is the fact that um, people often forget the comma where it's required during writing. Finally, another issue is that third conditional is almost never used. So again, if you have the ability to learn how to use it in a correct and natural way, it will have a significant impact on your IELTS score. Best wishes on your journey studying IELTS and of course trying to integrate conditionals into your speaking and writing.